Philips Zoom Quick Pro is an entirely new way to offer patients professional whitening results in minimum time. It utilizes a breakthrough two-layer technology that provides a quick start to a noticeably whiter smile. Because of the quick application time and innovative sealer layer, Philips Zoom Quick Pro allows you to make whitening a part of nearly every patient's regularly scheduled appointment. Quick Pro can even be used prior to the application of a fluoride varnish. In this video, we'll walk through the Quick Pro application so you can incorporate Quick Pro into your practice. Before beginning, it's important to determine if the patient is a candidate for Quick Pro whitening varnish. We recommend that they are at least 18 years of age and in generally good oral condition. Pregnant or lactating mothers or those with a serious illness should consult their medical doctor prior to the treatment. Like all whitening procedures, results may vary from patient to patient. Quick Pro is clinically proven to whiten up to four shades with just a single 10-minute chair-side application. Quick Pro is recommended for patients with yellow or brown staining who are most likely to see noticeable same-day results. For patients with gray or tetracycline staining, Philips Zoom recommends using our take-home day white or night white treatment with a Quick Pro session to achieve faster results. Because of its innovative sealer technology, most patients experience virtually no sensitivity with Quick Pro. This makes it an ideal choice for a wide range of people who might otherwise not be candidates for whitening. Everything you need for a Quick Pro treatment is in the kit. To start the treatment, make sure the patient's teeth are free from moderate to heavy plaque and calculus buildup. Ideally, Quick Pro should be applied immediately after polishing with a standard Profi paste. This makes it an easy addition to a regularly scheduled Profi appointment. If you are applying a fluoride varnish, the Quick Pro whitening varnish should be applied first, and the fluoride should be applied only to non-treated tooth surfaces. First, make sure the patient is wearing protective eyewear. Then, apply the provided vitamin E oil to the patient's lips. This will help maximize comfort during the treatment. Next, insert the provided lip and cheek retractor. For some patients, the retractor may fit more comfortably with cotton rolls added. If needed, insert the provided cotton rolls into the patient's vestibule areas, taking care to tuck the corners in completely. Two rolls are provided in each patient kit, one for the upper and one for the lower. Dry the gums and teeth. Next, twist off the cap on the Liquidam syringe and attach the metal tip. Apply a bead of Liquidam along the gingival margin. Be careful to cover the exposed gum along the margin to help prevent any sensitivity. The Liquidam bead should be approximately one and one half millimeter thick and one and one half millimeter wide and drawn down to cover the papillae. When you are finished, cure the Liquidam for three to five seconds using a sweeping motion to prevent excessive heat against the soft tissue. Then repeat the Liquidam application on the lower teeth as well and utilize the same curing method as before. Next, apply a light coat of vitamin E over the Liquidam, taking care to avoid getting the oil on the teeth. Now it's time to apply the first layer of Quick Pro's breakthrough two-layer technology. To do this, open the glass vial labeled one. This is the 20% hydrogen peroxide. Using the first of the two provided applicator brushes, Apply the hydrogen peroxide evenly over the teeth, avoiding the liquid bead and soft tissue. For best results, apply a thin coating to each tooth with a single brush stroke. If one stroke does not cover the tooth surface, without re-dipping the brush, use the reverse side of the brush and apply using a single smooth stroke. A two by two cotton gauze can be used to wipe off the brush head between applications to help minimize strings that may form. If applying a fluoride varnish as well, then Quick Pro whitening varnish should not be applied past the first or second premolars. The fluoride varnish will be applied to all remaining non-treated tooth surfaces after the Quick Pro application. Once the whitening varnish is applied, let air dry until teeth do not feel sticky. The varnish should feel dry to the touch. Next, it's time to apply the sealer layer. This technology seals the hydrogen peroxide so you can send the patient on their way immediately after application. Open the glass vial of the innovative sealer labeled 2. Using the second of the two provided application brushes, 
Apply using the same technique as the first layer, once again avoiding the soft tissue. Let the teeth air dry for 30 seconds. When the teeth are dry to the touch, carefully remove the Liquidam barrier. For best results, use an explorer and cotton pliers. If adding a fluoride varnish, it can be applied to non-treated tooth surfaces after removing the Liquidam barrier. Gently remove the cotton rolls and retractor and apply another layer of vitamin E oil to the patient's lips. Do not rinse the patient's mouth. The procedure is now complete. Give the patient the provided post-care instructions and make sure they know they should wait 30 minutes before removing the varnish. The patient should not eat, drink, or smoke during this 30-minute window, but can otherwise go about their day as the varnish is colorless and nearly invisible. To remove the Philips Zoom Quick Pro Whitening Varnish after 30 minutes, the patient can either brush their teeth or wipe the film off with a damp cloth. For best results, patients should avoid dark staining foods and drinks as well as smoking for two hours after brushing. If your patients are looking for even more dramatic results, recommend they use Quick Pro in combination with Philips Zoom Day White or Night White Take-Home Treatment. For more information about Philips Zoom Quick Pro, Visit philipsoralhealthcare.com or ask your sales representative.